In this video, we're going to learn what a file system is and compare three of the most common types, NTFS, EXT4, and FAT32. We'll break everything down, so even if you're just starting to learn about computers, you'll understand it all by the end. You'll also learn which file system is best for you depending on your needs. Have you ever wondered how your computer knows where your files are? or how it remembers the names of your pictures, videos, and games even after you shut it down. Well, that's all thanks to something called a file system. A file system is like a librarian for your computer. It helps your computer organize, store, and find files just like a librarian keeps track of books in a library. Without a file system, your computer wouldn't know where anything is all your files would be scattered like loose pages on the floor. So, what exactly does a file system do? It tells your computer how to save files, how to name them, where to store them, and how to find them later. Let's talk about the three most common ones. FAT32, NTFS, and EXT4. Let's start with FAT32. FAT32 stands for File Allocation Table 32. It's one of the oldest file systems created by Microsoft back in the 1990s. It's very simple and works with almost all computers and devices, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, gaming consoles, and even cameras. That sounds great, right? But FAT32 has some big limits. First, it can't handle files bigger than 4 gigabytes. So if you have a movie file that's 5 gigabytes, FAT32 won't be able to store it. Second, the maximum size of a FAT32 partition is 2 terabytes. That's still a lot, but for large hard drives, this can be a problem. FAT32 is good for flash drives or memory cards where you don't need to store huge files. If you just want to copy some photos or documents, and use the drive on many different devices. FAT32 is a good choice, but for modern computers and big files, FAT32 is too old fashioned. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button if you like my video. Also click on that notification bell. Thank you. Next up is NTFS, which stands for New Technology File System. This one is also made by Microsoft and is the default file system for Windows computers. NTFS is much more powerful than FAT32. It supports files larger than 4 GB and there's no real limit on how big the partition can be. You can store very large files and use hard drives with lots of space. NTFS also has some smart features. For example, it keeps track of changes, so if your computer crashes, it can recover data more easily. It has permissions, so you can control who can read or write to a file. It also supports compression, encryption, and file security. Sounds perfect, right? Well, here's the downside. NTFS doesn't work well with all devices. Some devices like gaming consoles or Mac OS computers can't write to NTFS drives without special software. So while NTFS is great for Windows users and large files, it's not the best for sharing between many different devices. If you use only Windows and want performance, security, and reliability, NTFS is the way to go. Finally, we have EXT4, which stands for Fourth Extended File System. This is the most common file system used by Linux. EXT4 is fast, reliable, and can handle very large files and partitions. Just like NTFS, it doesn't have that 4 GB file limit like FAT32 does. It also has features like journaling, which helps protect your data if something goes wrong, better performance on SSDs and modern hardware, lower risk of file corruption. However, AXT4 isn't natively supported by Windows or macOS. If you plug in an EXT4 formatted drive into a Windows PC, it won't recognize it unless you use third-party tools. So, if you're using Linux, EXT4 is your best choice. But for sharing files between Windows and Linux, it's not ideal unless you know how to set up special software. Before we move further, let me tell you about our website where we offer multiple services along with plenty of IT-related courses. 
make sure to check out our website. The link is in the description box. Now that we've looked at all three, so you will be wondering which one should you choose? If you're using a USB drive or SD card that needs to work with many different devices like cameras, gaming consoles, or both Windows and Mac OS, go with FAT32 or XFAT, a newer version of FAT32 without the 4 GB limit. If you're using Windows only and need good performance, large file support, and features like file security, NTFS is the best choice. If you're on Linux, especially if you're installing Linux on your PC, EXT4 is perfect for you. And if you're working across different systems, sometimes it's best to use two drives with different file systems or find software that helps your computer read other file systems. To wrap it up, the file system is what makes your files easy to store and find on a drive. It's like a smart organizer that keeps everything in place. FAT 32 is simple and works everywhere but has limits. NTFS is powerful and best for Windows users. EXT4 is perfect for Linux and great at handling large data safely. Understanding these file systems helps you avoid problems like file transfer errors or unsupported formats. It also helps you pick the best format when setting up a drive, saving time and making your digital life easier. Now that you know what a file system is and how these three compare, you can make smarter choices when setting up your next hard drive, USB, or even installing an operating system. Thanks for watching and don't forget, understanding the basics like this builds a strong foundation for learning even more about computers and technology. So I'll see you in the next video. Let's keep learning together.